y'all so i'm coming today to make a video on how to deal with angry customers honestly the truth is when you're in business you cannot please everyone everyone is not going to be happy there are going to be some people that are going to be upset that are going to be angry and a part of business is having good customer service and you have to be able to know how to deal with these situations, know how to handle these situations, know how to, one, stand up for your company, two, satisfy the customer at the same time. And sometimes it can be very challenging. So hopefully this video is going to be very helpful for you. When it comes to customer service, a lot of your customer service skills will come from you just being a naturally good person but also if you've ever had a job a nine to five that is customer service based those nine to five jobs always teach you about customer service good customer service how to keep customers coming back all that good stuff so that's pretty much why i feel like i'm so great in this area because my past jobs have taught me so much about customer service that I'm able to use that information and those tools and those skills in my business. From my understanding, customers are typically upset or mad due to these type of situations. So due to a lack of communication, you just did not communicate with your customer effectively and in a quickly, um, in a quick and timely manner. Um, two, they're just upset with the quality, the quality of what they receive. They're disappointed. They're upset. Or three, it's a customer who never read your policies, never read descriptions on your website. Um, they received their products and now they're, ex they're expecting to be the exceptions to all of your rules, all of your policies, all that good stuff. Okay. And they just get upset because they just want to be right. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just going to talk about a little bit about each and every one. So the first one I mentioned is a lack of communication. Honesty is the best policy, okay? Be honest with your customers. I feel like to just avoid, to avoid any type of conflict that you could possibly have with your customers, you should always have open communication. You should communicate every thing with your customers don't lie and just be completely honest okay if your vendor ships out your package like if you do the pre-order system and your vendor ships out your package later than they normally do as soon as you find out simply contact your customer write your customer an email and let them know hey i just want to give you an update on your order so my vendors shipped out my package late or you know hey um something came up there has been a delay on my recent shipment that i was expecting this week it is going to cause a slight delay to your order being shipped out um i hope you can understand i just wanted to come to you and let you know right away you know I'm supposed to be cooking breakfast, y'all. So that was the oven going off to let me know that it's preheated. Usually I don't wait for the oven to preheat, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so it's always good to just be honest. The thing is we are human and being human mean that you are not perfect. Life is going to happen to everyone. So whenever life happens to you, if issues arrive, as soon as they arrive, communicate that to your customers right away. Um, I would say 90% of the time, your customer is going to be okay with it. The only, <clears throat> the only customers, the only customers that probably won't be okay with delays and, you know, life happening are customers who had like events coming up, you know, like maybe they have a wedding coming up. Maybe they have like a birthday party coming up and they really needed that hair for their hair to be done. In that case, as a business owner, you probably will have to refund your customer. But I'm telling you, that hardly ever happened. I mean, in my experience, 
usually when I have to reach out to a customer and tell them about delays or just anything that could have happened that would delay their package or their shipment, for me, it's really never been a problem. Maybe out of my three years of business, only two people had a problem with it because they had events coming up. And in that case, I was happy to give them a complete refund because it's just the right thing to do. So in my experience, that hardly ever happens. But I just feel like to prevent any issues, it's always great to be 100% honest and straightforward with your customers. Um, and from the very beginning, the very start, your customers will understand. They will trust and respect you more for that honesty. Okay? So... Lack of communication, like there's no excuse for lack of communication. So the whole spiel I just said, let your customers know stuff right away. There should be no reason why any of your, any of our customers should be upset due to a lack of communication. Okay. Okay. No reason. Now the second one, the quality of the hair. Now you will receive a lot of these, but when it comes to a customer being upset because of the quality of the hair, you need to step back and really assess the situation. This is not the time to say, like the customers say they upset with the quality of the hair, the hair is trash, and you just say, okay, I'm gonna give you a 100% refund. That is not how you run a business. Never, 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 never offer a 100% refund up front, okay? Because listen to me, listen to me, y'all. I completely understand why people would do that because you feel like, you know, customer service is everything. If the customer is really unhappy and just angry and yelling and mad and threatening your business, that the only solution is to give them a 100% refund, no question about it, like just off the rip, off top, just give them a 100% refund. Let me tell y'all, if you want to run a successful business, you cannot give people 100% discounts, okay? At least not not like as soon as they give as soon as they have something negative safe like you don't give them that's not the first step to the process okay this is how you would work this situation out okay listen listen to me so your customer emails you and they say this hair is trash this hair been tangling and mad and it's the worst version here i ever had I've been wearing virgin hair for 10 years. This is ridiculous. I want my money back now. I'm about to tell, if you don't give me my money back right now, I'm about to tell everyone that your hair is trash and I'm going to make sure nobody ever shops with your company again, right? Let's say your customers say all of that, right? You get it, you read it, and you like shocked. You shocked. Because as a business owner, you test it out all of the hair that you sell you wear your hair every day you have customers telling you your hair is great your customers sending you videos of the hair your customers sending you photos of the hair all of your other customers doing this so you know your hair is the bomb.com so now you have a person threatening to leave a bad review of your company and they're mad and upset so now as a business owner, because you stand behind your products, you have to really figure out, okay, what went wrong? You're not gonna offer, you're not gonna say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, let me give you a complete refund. You're not gonna do that. The first thing you're gonna do is uncover, well, the first thing you're gonna do, you are gonna sympathize with them. So you're gonna say, you know, oh my gosh, this is the first I'm hearing of this experience. Um, I hate that this happened to you. Can you send me photos of what the hair looks like, right? Can you send me photos? Can you send me pictures? It is so important that you ask for photos and pictures because there are some people out there, and not a lot, but there are some people out there that would purposely leave you a bad review or purposely threaten you or purposely say these things so that they can keep the hair and get their money back, okay? There's people out there like that. So as a business owner, you need to have some sort of proof. 
if they are telling you something, they need pictures and they need videos to back it up, okay? But even on top of that, you have to ask them additional questions because if you stand behind your hair, if you stand behind your products, you know how your hair is supposed to be taken care of um, and you know like how to properly take care of the hair. So you need to secondly ask them like what all has been done to the hair? Have you dyed the hair? Have you bleached the hair? Um, have, how often have you been washing the hair? Once you start asking these questions, I kid you not, you will see within the responses that they tell you that the issue they are having with the hair is a direct correlation to what they have done to the hair. Typically, when customers are complaining about bad hair and you as a hair company, like you've been selling hair, you get nothing but good reviews, and you have a one customer out the blue say they have a terrible experience with the hair, nine out of 10 chances, it is something that that person did to the hair. It's gonna, you're gonna realize, I've had someone tell me the hair mad up and tangled. And when I talked to them, when I asked questions, they revealed to me that they were putting mousse on the hair almost every day and that they had never washed the hair since they had it. Sis was treating the hair like it was synthetic hair off the beauty supply store. Like, no, you can't do that with virgin hair. You have to wash it. You have to, you can't be, can't put mousse on a hair that has like alcohol in it as an ingredient. You can't do that. That's going to dry out the hair. So what I realized is typically when customers have complaints about the quality of the hair, it is because they did something wrong to the hair. They weren't taking care of the hair properly. So that's why it's important to ask them questions and press for details to see exactly what it is that they did. I had another customer get really upset with me because she had that she had gotten her hair bleached and she said the hair matted up and tangled and didn't keep a curl, any of that after she bleached the hair. I have photos of multiple customers that bleached their hair and did not have these issues. The customer put in a claim against me, um, against PayPal, she lost her claim. She then put in a dispute with me against her bank and she lost the bank dispute as well. Why? Because after I asked her questions, I realized that she took her hair to a stylist. Her stylist then over bleached the hair. Like, I mean, over, over, over bleach the hair. And it was because of her stylist over bleaching the hair. That was the reason why she was having problems with the hair. So her issue really wasn't with me and my company. And the hair that I sell, her issue was really with her stylist. But instead, she was trying to pick a fight with me, trying to get her money back from me when she should have been picking a fight with her stylist and trying to get the money back from her stylist. So this is why it's very important when customers are having quality issues and you know your hair is the bomb.com, you need to be able to stand behind your products, your hair company, and really see what the true issue is. If you were to, as soon as your customer gave you a complaint and your first response was, oh my, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna give you a 100% refund, you would be missing out on so much money and people will in turn take advantage of you all the time. You will never make money in your business. Um, so you have to be able to stand up for your products and the quality of it. Now, there are very, very, very small cases where a customer can receive a bad batch of hair. But honestly, you guys, in my and this is my third year of business, so this whole time I've been in business, I've probably only had two instances where I realized, okay, the customer probably received a bad batch of hair. So that hardly ever happens, but I will say as a business owner, it's important that you periodically test out the hair the quality of the hair that your vendor is providing because some vendors they can get like real slick and they'll try to like the quality of the hair may go down 
may go down with time. So it's important as a business owner that you periodically test out your hair. Um, and it's just going to depend on how often you want to. Maybe you want to test periodically test out your hair every three months, um, maybe twice a year, maybe once a year. You just, you know, try to see, okay, is the hair still up to par or whatever or whatnot. But um, when it comes to issues with the quality of, quality of the hair, you really got to press for details, press for facts, okay? Um... And then also when when you are talking to your customers when when they're when they're really upset, right? When your customers are really upset and you're talking to them, you need to be sympathetic. Be sympathetic, okay? This is not time for you to be on the defense very strong. It's all about how you're wording it. So if your customer is saying you provided me with trash hair, you're a bad business owner. You need to give me this. You need to give me that. This is not the time for you to tell your customer. First of all, sis, you trash. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Don't come for my business, bitch. I will block you. Like that. That's not. That's not. That's not how you respond to those messages. Okay. You gotta. <laughs> that's not how you respond to those messages. You have to, you know, be a little sympathetic. Just say, you know, oh my gosh, I hate that this is happening to you. I definitely want to resolve this and see what went wrong and how I can help you. Um, you know, how I can help you with the situation. Could you please send me over photos of the hair, videos of the hair? Then they send you over the photos and videos of the hair. Then you could say, you know, oh man, these photos and videos, um, they do look bad. Um, I have not seen this happen with my hair company before, but I am curious. Um, how often do you wash the hair, you know, and then wait for their response. And if they say, oh, I wash the hair once a week or something, then you can say, um, you know, have you dyed the hair recently? Have you tried to bleach it? Uh, I mean, well, those are things you'll be able to see, like, when you receive the pictures and um, the videos. But you can say, you know, have you been to the pool lately? Um, how are you wrapping up your hair? And then, you know, the more your customer reveal, the more you could be like, okay, going forward, or sometimes, you know, you may have tips and tools to help their hair um, help them revive their hair due to their improper like upkeep of the hair. You can give them tips like, oh, so this, this can easily be fixed. Like, um, this can be fixed by deep conditioning the hair. Then you can give them like a step by step process, or you know, refer to them, refer them to a YouTube tutorial on how to repair their hair. You know, like you want to offer some type of solution. You know, be kind of sympathetic or whatever, but at the same time, you know, really uncover the true issue and, you know, yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. And then typically the last angry or upset customer you will get will be someone that tries to get over on the system. These are going to be customers who did not read your policies. They didn't read your processing um, time, your shipping time, your return policy, your cancellation policy. And they feel like they can be the exception to the rule. They may threaten to leave a bad review and all that good stuff. When those situations come about, do not get angry. Do not get super defensive. Just kindly let them know, um, you know, this, we, this, is, this is the reason why we have these policies in place. Um, the policy states such and such, and here's a link to the policy page, blase, blase, okay? Me, I'm very strict on my policies. Everything on my website is final order, okay? I don't want to hear about, and this, this is just me. <laughs> There's nothing you can really tell me <laughs> to go against my policy, okay? I don't want to hear about your dog got sick, your dog got to go to the hospital, and you need your money back for your dog, Okay. I don't want to hear about that because all orders are final and that could seem a little, I mean, that could seem a little harsh, but I tell people all the time, like 
as a small business owner and being that this is my only source of income, this is the income that pays my bills, all of my policies are in place for a reason. Unfortunately, at this time, I am unable to do X, Y, and Z because the policy states that I am unable to do it. Like, they can get mad, they cannot get mad, but the policy is policy. And worst case scenario, what can they say? I mean, worst case scenario, they can go to social media and leave a bad review or whatever. And all you got to do as a business owner is just screenshot y'all conversation and then let everybody else be the judge. Nine out of 10 chances, policy is policy. You cannot expect people to break policies and no one is going to, none of your other customers or potential customers are going to be upset um, because you stick to your policies. Like, no, nobody's going to be upset. You cannot be fearful. You cannot be scared. I know a lot of people, a lot of people feel like, you know, I don't know. The, the, thing, the thing is, you cannot be scared and you cannot let people bully you in your business. People are going to threaten your business. They're going to they're gonna claim that they're going to tell all their friends or whatever not to, not to order from you. But you cannot be scared of that. You have to know how to be able to stand up for yourself. That's not a reason for you to miss out on money. That's not a reason for you to give a full and complete fund, refund to someone when you have bills to pay and you need that money. Um, when that's not fair to you because you know for a fact you sell good quality hair and someone's trying to take advantage of your kindness and your sweetness and the fact that you are a new business owner okay that's not fair to you so you have to be able to stand your ground half the time the people that threaten you because they just want their money back and they just want to get their way half the time if you look at their friends list on social media they only have 200 friends so it's like Yo, 200 friends, like, that's not going to affect my business anyways. Like, they not even in my target audience. So, sis, don't threaten me with that. Like, the people <laughs> that you're friends with don't even fit into my target audience. Like, I'm not even worried or bothered about that, okay? But, so, hopefully this video has been a little helpful. I just feel like there's, mm, I don't know. Hopefully this video has been a little helpful. I know it's a lot of people out there that feel like customer service is all about issuing full refunds and the customer always being right. Um, but as a business owner, if you want to be successful, you always want to make the customer feel good and always make them feel like they're right. But at the same time, you have to be able to stand up for your company, um, stand behind your products and you want to really resolve issues. You want to come up with solutions and those solutions do not have to be a full refund. But hold on, before the video ends, I do want to say this. If there's ever something that you do as a business owner and you know it's your fault, you know that it's your fault that your customer was inconvenienced. Like let's say your customer was expecting their package to arrive at a certain time but it couldn't because of something that happened that you done because you didn't communicate with them and give them any options um because you just i don't know you was just not doing what you were supposed to do as a business owner you have to be able to hold yourself accountable okay in those instances where situations are your fault you must be able to come up with a solution accept the fact that it's your fault and at that time you can offer you can and you should offer a refund if it is indeed your fault um it doesn't have to be a full refund it could be a partial refund um it could be a percentage off your next purchase it could be you send them something over for free if it is indeed your fault, okay? An example of this could be, I made a customer a wig. They requested their wig to be made on a ventilated wig cap, but I made their wig on a mesh dome cap, okay? In that situation, the customer is right to be upset because they did not receive what they ordered. In that situation, me as a business owner, I will accept 
responsibility. Like, oh my gosh, I overlooked that. How can I fix this for you? You know, and typically I will um, say, sh just ship the wig back. I will pay for you to ship the wig back to me and I will redo the, the whole wig for you because this is my fault, okay? Um, I did have a situation because, y'all, I need to sleep more because I have at least done this five times and it's bad. Um, <laughs> sometimes um, I do have customers who'll be like, no, it's fine or whatever. And then I'll just send them like a partial discount because that's my fault. You know, I'll send them like a partial discount. Um, so it's like little stuff like that. When it really is your fault as a business owner and you know it's your fault, accept, you know, responsibility of it and Really, that is that is probably the only time when you should be offering full discounts, partial discounts, all that good stuff, okay? If you are going to offer a full discount off of something, only do it when you know it is 100% your fault, okay? So hopefully this video has been helpful to you all. Um, if you have any video requests, leave them down below because I haven't been making videos as often as I used to. Only because I feel like I've talked about everything. I have a hundred plus videos all about running a hair business, okay? 100 plus. So it's just like, dang, I done talked about everything and I can't really think of what can I make a video about. So if you guys um, have any suggestions, just leave them down below. That way I can make more videos for y'all but thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe make sure you thumbs up this video make sure you follow me on all my social media pages everything ebony everything ebony collection wigs by ebony all that good stuff oh and i'm on twitter everything ebony on twitter but i haven't really been using it so y'all don't have to follow me because i don't really use it as often as i should but anyways let me end this video because i just keep talking and talking